I gotta give props to Jay Z. Out, out, out of this whole thing, whether it was right or wrong, uh, Solange was punching him and everything. Jay Z was nice and calm and collected, and he didn't even throw any punches. Now that's respect. This is a basically different from Chris Brown happening here. So I gotta give props to Jay Z. That's m now I I've just tell you Jay Z you you don't have 99 problems now you have 100 problems to deal with so you know I'm hoping that maybe he will have a new track called 100 Problems and uh, probably talk about this but this is the TMC that you got to talk about so the second what's hot basically it was Raptors Day and now my beloved the Raptors uh, on Monday Deputy Mayor the Toronto Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly has proclaimed. City of Toronto as Raptors Day for May 12th. And this is amazing, I'm very happy, I was very proud. I woke up in the morning, the moment I walk out to the Nathan Phillips Square, there were lots of Raptors fans. I actually learned this from uh, Twitter. My followers tell me, hey Vern, are you going to Raptors Day? And I was like, what are you talking about, what Raptors Day? They're like, didn't you know that they are going to call this day a Raptors Day to dedicate the amazing season that the Toronto Raptors have it this year. Uh, from going from losing at the beginning after the Rudy Gay trade, they rebound and they make the playoffs. And most importantly, they made franchise history with the most wins in a franchise record, 48 wins. So this is something, you know, although they didn't win a championship per se, but this is something that, you know, the sports team in our city where every team we're trying to, as a fan want them to do well this is something as accomplishment because this was actually the most watched it Raptors playoff series in the entire franchise record that's a breakthrough and as you can see from the footage here uh, one of the Raptors represented a grievous fast gas is actually there telling the fans how much he loved the city of Toronto and he's played for four teams but that he said that the Toronto Raptors have the best diehard amazing fans in, in, the, in the world and he is a free agent so basically Deputy Mayor uh, Norm Kelly was telling Grievous and hold his hand and said listen Grievous if the Toronto Raptors is not going to sign you we will sign you and it was an amazing moment because Dwayne Casey coach Casey is there you can see the Raptor mascot it's always fun it's always fun to see uh, Raptor mascot there and uh, two of the mayoral candidate was there John Torrey wearing a We the North red t-shirt and Oliver Chow, another candidate, was wearing a white Northern Uprising tee as well. So there are a lot of people to show the support. I was very proud. It was a great day for the Raptors fan. And, you know, we're looking forward to strive for the greatest. We're going to see more better stuff going on for the Raptors to come. And Raptors Day, I'm very proud. And we should all be proud because Raptors are only getting better. And this is basically an exclamation mark to show to the city of Toronto that Toronto Raptors is on the map. Everybody cares about them. Even if you don't really follow basketball, you become part of the team, part of the city because of the bus that they were creating. And these are a bunch of players who care about the city, who are heart and, and passion and the heart and soul of the team. And it was great to see them at Nathan Phillips Square, and that was amazing. Raptors Day, remember, May 12th.